Hello. Well, you caught me doing my daily kegels. Welcome to Stir Crazy, the cooking show for shut-ins. Like you. <laughs> I'm beloved local drag queen, Elsa Douche. Back this week with yet another recipe that centers around garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Call them what you like. I don't judge things like that. Regular stir-crazy viewers may notice that I'm somewhat obsessed with garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Well, that's just because they're so full of protein and vegans like me do need to make sure we get enough protein and garbanzo beans or chickpeas are just so versatile uh, like me. <laughs> now I've been a vegan for a long time and I was a vegetarian for a long time before that so I rarely get cravings for food with meat in it. With one wild exception, I do occasionally get a very strong craving for a tuna salad sandwich. Yes, just a simple tuna fish sandwich like, you know, the kind your grandmother would make for you when you were a child. You know, it's summertime and Grandma's watching you because your mom has to work, and so she'd make you a tuna salad sandwich on soft white bread, the kind of store-bought bread your mother would never let you have at home. And Grandma would serve it to you with a few potato chips on a paper plate, because Grandma loves you, but she's not about to dirty another dish, darling. Oh, you're nine years old. The entire summer stretches out before you like an unwrapped gift, darlings. Your entire life is waiting for you, a mystery yet to unfold. Before your dreams are crushed, before your spirit is finally drained of, of hope. Uh... <laughs> I'm back. Uh, vegan tuna salad, darlings. I'm going to tell you the ingredients that you need. One can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas rinsed well. This is a 15 ounce can. You'll need a quarter cup of vegan mayonnaise and this Wildwood um, garlic aioli mayonnaise substitute is my go-to. Some chopped celery, some chopped red onion if you like, and salt and pepper. And there are lots of optional ingredients you can add to your taste. I like to add a little bit of dill I also like to put in some norikomi furikake, which is a seaweed and sesame seasoning common in Japan. Uh, I find the seaweed gives the tuna salad that nice ocean taste that you want out of a tuna sandwich. You can also just buy some nori flakes or some nori sheets and crumple them up if you like. You might like just a dash of lemon juice. I always recommend using a fresh lemon. And you may be one of those people who likes to put sweet pickle relish in your tuna salad. Uh, and if you do, well, that, I'm sorry, is an abomination. I would never do that. Keep your sweet pickles far away from me. My grandmother's tuna salad, I will not desecrate it. That is not how we make tuna salad at my house. Go ahead and make your sweet pickled tuna salad if that's what you really want to do. It's not something I or my sainted grandmother would ever do, so that's your business. I just don't want to hear about it, and that's the last we'll be speaking of sweet pickles ever on Stir Crazy. Oh, hello. Now I am mashing the garbanzo beans into a thick, chunky paste, darling. I'm using a potato masher. You could use your food processor if you like. I don't know, I kind of appreciate the upper arm workout I'm getting. As with my kegels, I'm preparing for a return to uh, social events soon, and I want to be looking good and uh, ready to socialize, uh, if you know what I mean. There you go. And now it's just a matter of mixing in the rest of your ingredients. 
I'm going to mix in the quarter cup of mayonnaise substitute. I'm going to squeeze in some lemon. I've got my chopped red onion and chopped celery here. You could add in capers. There are lots of ways to make a uh, vegan tuna salad. There are many recipes around the internet. This is the my version of it, and it's a tribute to my grandmother. Dolores. We all called her Shorty. She actually was not a short woman. She was regular size, but Grandma Shorty, as we all called her, married a very tall man, and he had a very tall family, so she was short compared to them. They called her Shorty. The name stuck all her life. You know, this is a story about perception, darlings. Um, Oh, I'm adding the chopped onion and chopped celery. I've got my seasoning, my norikomi furikake, and some dill and salt and pepper to taste. Then just give it a good stir, darling. Would you look at that? And there you have it, a, a vegan version of a tuna fish sandwich served with potato chips on a paper plate. What can I say? This is comfort food for me, darlings which is also my way of saying I grew up in a trailer park. Well, that's it for Stir Crazy, the cooking show for shut-ins like you. But darling, there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel, so hang in there. Keep staying safe. Darlings, get the vaccine when you can. I know I'm looking forward to it. And thanks again for taking this walk down memory lane with me and my Beloved Grandma Shorty. Miss you, Grandma Shorty. Well, until next time. Oh, I need to get back to my kegels. See you soon. Bye-bye. Mm. Mm.